Welcome back. Well, speaking about ideology, uh, which perhaps informs the strategy, who better to tell us about their ideology than the man you have there with you, Mark Ben, and that jury? Mm -hmm. Well, he's already been telling us behind the scenes what his strategy is. But joining us now is Dr. Emeka Okingwu, who is the Director of Strategy of the Nigeria Intervention Movement. You're welcome to Abuja Studio. It's a privilege to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, it's very diff different from the CNM, the Coalition for Nigeria Movement, is it? Well, yes. Uh, in, in, in terms of ideology and probably in terms of focus, you could say it's different. But in terms of the conversation, yes, I mean, everybody needs to get involved. In terms of focus, you say an ideology. Yes. Isn't it all about Nigeria? Well, if you remember, I think the CMM was actually talking about politicians coming together, you know, to build a political force that we kick uh, the APC government out in 2019. Name is saying that we want every Nigeria to get involved in these conversations around our country. We can keep kicking in and kicking out and until you're able to look at those cross-cutting issues, you know, those deeper issues of governance. Okay, what is everybody doing? It's not enough for us to say we want to kick out the APC. Okay, I'm bringing who? And to do what? It's enough for us to begin to say, let us now have a conversation around our country. If we've had 16 years or 17 years of democracy and each government that comes in fails, why are they failing? Are they failing because our recruitment process is wrong? Are they failing because we are not getting involved? you know, in probably trying to put, you know, the right narratives on the table? Are they failing because on the days of election, you and I, you know, locking in our rooms and they were comfortable loading our cards and generators with fuel and we're asking people, well, have they started fighting? Have they finished? Are they failing because those who should be champions, those who should be legitimizers of the process, are not actually part of it? So for NIM, for us, and this is why we say everybody's involved, politicians, technocrats, clergy, civil society, uh, journalists, everybody must be named. Okay, so it's not as much as an association as it is a movement, and it's important to make that clarification. You know, in this country today, you, have, you hear stories all the time about, for, just for example, a professor in a Nigerian university who has educated abroad, has the highest level of education, excellent in his work, uh, and has refused offers to, to teach abroad for more money stays here, retires without even a house because he wants to teach Nigerian students the, way, the, the education he's gained over time. You have those people, but we don't see them in the public service. And I want to ask you, ultimately, at the end of this process, how do you get those brilliant, principled, and patriotic Nigerians into offices where they can make tangible impact on the country? Exactly. You have just made my point. I, I mean, you, you're probably talking about my father, your father. Okay, I grew up in a university community. I grew up in University of Nigeria and Suka, and my, 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 well, our parents then were drawn from all over the world to come and build in Suka. And Suka had a motto, you know, to restore the dignity of man. If you were from Imbadon or, or, or Ife or whatever, you know, universities, campuses or, you know, environments you came from in those days, the commitment was all about Nigeria. And people were involved. Uh, if you were young enough or old enough, in the 80s, you found out that the students, you know, formed the major plank, okay, of whatever political, you know, dynamics that emerged, or whatever political conversations that emerged. So everybody was involved, and this is what name is all about. But I cannot tell you. Uh, I, I, when, when I say this, I, I, when I say I'm not a politician, people say, oh, no, but you're in politics. I say, okay, maybe I need to redefine this. I'm not in partisan politics. I'm not interested in seeking ele elective positions, okay? I also belong to an university system. I'm executive director of an institute in a, in a, in a university. You know, so, but we're saying we can't just sit back and say, oh, no, this doesn't consign us. We need to get everybody involved. You and more, but you must get involved either as champions or mobilizers or facilitators, but you don't necessarily need to get involved in partisan politics. This is where this is different. And we're saying not even only the university people you've talked about, my brother, the clergy. We're saying our kings, our chiefs, okay? Our clergymen must be the first in line to be able to perform the civil responsibility of casting their votes. I, I, no, there's no law that says your king or your oba or your eze shouldn't go and perform that civil society, civil responsibility. You know, I, I'm curious. I first of all want to know, uh, we'll come to strategy in just a moment, uh, because you know, the strategy which you seek to employ yes. will be extremely important. True. Uh, but then there are questions as to how can you get involved without exactly getting into partisan politics. Both political parties 
uh, reject the idea that, that a coalition is needed. They think that the processes will evolve. Nigeria is a young democracy and that the political parties need to be strengthened. If one party doesn't do well, kick it out and get the next one in. Great. How you get involved is that you not get involved in that recruitment process. Okay? For you as Maube Yusuf, you've become a champion. Take it or leave it. You have a lot of fellowship. You have a lot of people that respect you, that like you. I, I, just give me a minute, ma'am, so I can, I, can, I can put you into this picture. Because you're a perfect I, example. I'd rather not. Okay, I'd, okay, I'd let, rather you okay, let me, okay, let me, let me use me. Let me use me as you. It would be nice. Are, are you addressing the strategy now? Yes, I'm addressing. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I don't want you to do that just yet. Yes. I want you to look at the question of, you know, sidelining or going beyond, or is it around the political parties? Is that what your organization yeah, is trying to do? We are saying, I'm trying to say to you, ma'am, that I, Emeko Kenwu, do not need to run for part partisan or party office or party or elective position to perform this civil responsibility. I can mobilize my people into saying to them, make certain that whoever emerges as candidates from whatever political party has this lower limit. As are, you, are you disillusioned with the political parties? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. I mean, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be lying to yourself if you're not. And again, it's also even part of the recruitment process of the political parties. Mm. So what's the strategy for getting Nigerians involved? Thank you very much. We have three broad strategies. First is to delineate, you know, our, uh, sec our what, what you might call our focal or publics. The first public will be those who are between the ages of 18 and 22. These are people who are in the universities that are very key. And we're saying that at 18, you are adult enough to get involved. You are adult enough to join the conversation. So we're going to be having a special messaging for them. We also now intend to begin to now interface with them, you know, at that level. We have a second segment of Nigerians who are now between the ages of 23 to 34. This is where you have what you call your main book, the frustrated people, the young adults, the unemployed, the youth couples, uh, the newly married, and all that. Okay, they are the ones who are actually bearing these brunt of a failed state or a failing state or misgovernance or maladministrations. And then the third segment will now be those who are now between the ages of 35 and 45. For me, these are the three most critical you know, publics that we need to focus in building this thought force. They are the ones who are going to be living here longer than 40, 50 years ahead. Mm. So it's important that we get them involved. It's important that at every stage I've mentioned, there's a message, okay, that captures what their economic, what their social economic, what their social cultural realities are, and then for them to be able to know that it's not me at 54 that is going to be building a country for you. Mm. Okay. What are the, I'm just wondering how all of this is going to have any effect if people don't get involved directly with politics. You're saying that you can, you can get involved without directly playing partisan politics. Yes. Huh? I'm still wondering how that is feasible. It's, it's, it's very feasible. It's feasible in the sense that you don't, all of us don't have to become governors. I mean, you only have spaces for 36 of them. But some of us can now decide that this is the kind of governor we want, and that is how we're going to get involved. And we're going to say to you, if you don't have X, Y, Z, then you don't qualify to put your name on the ballot. If you do, we're going to use our votes to make certain that you don't go too far. Mm. That's how everybody can get involved. And that includes the board of you, you know, even asking me these questions. Well, everybody let's, must get involved. Let's take reactions from Lagos now.